Good evening and welcome to the Bob Davis Gymnasium here at Barack University. Game day. Game day. Game day. Oh! The two-time defending Quickly Cup champions, the Brock Badgers. These last few years, it's been the same story and it's consistency and it's been success. We definitely you know, set the bar pretty high and we like to go after it. What a magic storyline that would be to become the fourth team in history to go three-peat. Volleyball is a game of momentum and if it's not going your way, it could easily turn in the wrong direction for you. The Badger's going to need a miracle here. It's very simple if you actually believe. And the entire Bob Davis Gymnasium is on their feet. I think everyone just knows that we're not finished. Every time we're stepping on the court, the goal is to win. And we're used to winning. We want to win. We're hungry to win. We're hungry for more, and we have a lot more to prove in the OEA this year. I know we haven't played our best at nationals, and we still need to prove that we can play Brock Volleyball at that national level. All right, so our coach, Steve Delaney. I think Steve's motto is have the most fun. If we're having fun, then we're gonna play better and we're gonna win more games. He also is very good with like keep, keeping us like in a good mindset on game days. So he'll come in with like some like comedic relief, like make us like chill and whatever. But then when it's like game time, he knows how to keep us intense and like to keep our head in the game and just like be a good leader in that way. He, he pushes us a lot in practices. Um, and make sure that we're always on top of our stuff. Keeps us super focused, but he's definitely the kind of coach that like, you don't need to feel scared around. Like if you mess up, he's gonna help you and he's gonna make you better and he's on your side. He's never against you and I think that's huge. He's really changed as a coach, changed as a person over the years and I think it's for the better. He's more like, has a little soft spot. Even if you see him on the sidelines, sometimes you don't think so, he's a big softie. <laughs> So uh, Steve Delaney, head coach women's volleyball. I was at a volleyball symposium and the men's coach at the time and I met in a parking garage and uh, we just got to talking and the women's volleyball job became available. I threw my resume in and did the interview and I uh, was lucky enough to get the job. This year we're working on our culture a lot. I think um, we have a fun group, we, like I'm big on fun and I'm big on working hard and if we can do both of those two things more fun than other teams, work harder than other teams, I think we do pretty well. So I think the best thing that Steve ever did was ask the players what they want the culture to be like. My opinion, if somebody says, this is your culture or this is what you have to do, they're not as willing to buy in. Whereas he kind of gave it to the athletes and the team to say, like, this team is yours, make it what you want to make it. We're trying to build a culture where we all buy in to the purpose and the journey of what we're trying to do for this team. As a team this year, we're really focusing on better people, better Badgers. So like we want to be better people for the community, within the community, within the school, within athletics, like individually, within our families, within our friends, just bettering ourselves. Having that team culture of believing in putting the team first instead of your individual needs and wants. We before me always, like it's always we before me, like don't be selfish, we do things to better the team and better each other, not just ourselves. No whole is like better than the sum of its parts. So if one person isn't really like working in the weight room or um, doing their school work, it could bring the whole team down. So we're really trying to help each other just like pull along together. Doing that stuff together and really like just emphasizing on like the word team and like being a better badger for each other is what really is gonna like just take our team to the next level.
Welcome to Bob Davis Gymnasium here in St. Catharines, Ontario, the site of the 2023 Quigley Cup final between the Brock Badgers and the Queen's Gales. There was definitely nerves always going in. Um, I always say that, it, like, well, I always think to myself, it's like, why would you do something if you're not a little bit nervous? Because, um, like, nerves mean that you're about to do something special. Not a lot of people get to do that. We obviously wanted to win, and we had the goal of winning since day one. It was going to be a tough match, but we knew we had the skills and everything we worked hard to do that season to get us to that position. Tickets sold out for this game since Friday. You know just how much this game means to both schools. Lauren Milan gets us underway here. The very first set was really, really close. And had we have won that set, maybe the momentum would have, would have gone more in our favor. Um, but I think they, they, they caught us by surprise because what was working the last time we played them wasn't necessarily working this time. These Queen's Gales are just focused. They, they have a little momentum, and now it's just a dogfight. Gales really dominating that second set. What a phenomenal performance from them, just shutting down the Badgers offensively. We did lose the first two sets, which is a really hard thing to come back from, like being down like 2 nothing. So we had to make some adjustments. Uh, I think we had to deal with some of the um, emotions of like, oh my gosh, like, you know, we might not get this done. After the second, we all sort of took a step back and we were like, this is not how it's going to happen. It got to a point where we were all just like, let's just do it. We'll do it for each other. Um, and we were on the court and it was just pure, just like, fight. Bob Davis Gymnasium erupts and the Badgers retake the lead. This is, this is the third set now where, and we finally see this Badgers team get their offense going. The fifth set we were down and then like for some reason though I swear this sounds also like pretty cheesy but I just never thought we were gonna lose I always knew I'm like we're gonna pull something out we're just doing it for the plot just making it interesting it, it, it's gonna sound weird to say this but even when we were down 13 11 coming back to our side I really felt confident still it all comes down to this Emily Foss serve is received by Zanatel Baker sets there goes Ducheneau and he the Brooks I just do it and he can this and into the right you cannot count this Badger side out Oh my god. I am not an emotional person, but I could not stop crying. It was just like a great feeling because like coming back from all that like emotion and the roller like the roller coaster was just like up and down and everyone was just ecstatic and like when that ball went down, I just turned around and I was like, oh my god, that was insane. Winning that was like the best feeling and having the whole crowd just like on our side and cheering after that, like that was oh that's like so memorable. And especially after when you see like our coaches and then family members and like how emotional it made them sure to realize that it's not just the athletes that are experiencing it. It's, it's just nice. It's very wholesome. Specifically for me uh, at the end of last year, yeah, winning felt like a relief. It didn't feel like uh, you know, it's this ecstatic moment like, hey, we had just, you know, uh, won an OUA championship. It felt like a relief because it's what we were doing what we said we were going to do the entire season, right? We wanted to be in that game. We wanted to be in that moment. We wanted to get the job done. We were this close to not getting it done. So, um, but what I realized very quickly is that if I'm feeling that type of anxiety or, or that type of feeling at the end, that the athletes are probably feeling that as well. So, um, you know, we're, we're trying to work on that and realize that we're more than just volleyball people. We are, you know, people and we're, you know, moms, dads, students, brothers, sisters, you know, all that. We are just minutes away from this quarterfinal matchup between Brock and UBC tipping off live from Vancouver. You're watching the 2023 U Sports Volleyball Championships. Last year, I was with the team in British Columbia at Nationals at UBC. We really thought that we were in a position to, to be the best in the country, um, and unfortunately it didn't go our way. We ended up playing UBC at home, which is the host team. We fought for four sets and ended up losing that game as well, which was definitely disappointing. Oxlin back in, gets it to Gray! UBC! to the U-Sports semifinals. 
They take down the OUA champions, three sets to one. We fought, we did what we could. Um, we, we learned a lot also, that's the biggest thing. Like, we know we could, we could beat them and what we're capable of. Um, I think we're, we're stronger people, we're better for it, and we learned that day, but it was a tough pill to swallow because I know that we really felt that we could have had that match. We've been able to make it to nationals the last few years, but I think at nationals, we, don't, we haven't yet played Brock volleyball the way we know we can play it. It feels kind of like unfinished business. We've never kind of performed to our best ability in that exact moment, but they're hungry to perform and to win and to make it to nationals again and play on that big stage. To do what we are setting out to do, we're gonna to have to make that OUA final now for the fourth year in a row. That's tough. Last year, Steve said, it's gonna be harder than the year before. And this year, it's gonna be harder than the year before and the year prior. So our goal is to return back to nationals, but in order to get there, we have to accomplish all of our mini goals along the way. So every game we go in, okay, we're gonna win this game, and then next weekend we're gonna focus on that weekend. And instead of focusing on where we are in the OUA, where, you, where we are ranked nationally right now, it's still each game matters. Winning games home, winning games away, making it to playoffs, and then eventually making and hopefully winning the OUAs. So we're gonna to try to uh, really uh, celebrate the little moments as we still work towards um, achieving the big moment, right? So we have to keep our eye on the prize and know that everything we do on the court is affected by everything we do off the court. It comes down to the small things. It's like putting the effort in at lift, showing up to practice, you know, getting your schoolwork done so we can prioritize the team time, we can prioritize practice, and we can really push ourselves and hold ourselves to that standard so we can be the best team we can as the season progresses.